Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We're looking at Psalms chapter 34, verse 1. Today, we're going to pick up from there. It says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. He says, you know, I'm going to exalt God. I'm going to bless God. I'm going to praise God. He says, at all times, when I feel like it and when I don't feel like it, when things are going good and when things are going bad, when I have an abundance and when I have need, he says, I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. Why? Because no matter what, God is stable. He is always there. He is a good God. He is a giving God. He is a gracious God. He is a long-suffering God who's bestowed his blessings on us, not only salvation, but he is our protector. He is our provider. He is our sustainer. He is our uh, he is our savior. He he's done for us what we were incapable of doing ourselves. And who are we not to give glory to him? He says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. What's he saying here? He's saying, I don't have time to complain. I don't have time to um, to compare what I have when other people have. I'm going to I'm going to praise God him continually. I'm going to be thankful. I'm going to give God the glory in every situation. And when we do that, he says, the humble shall hear of it and be glad. As we are exuberant about the things of God and and praising God, you know what it causes? It causes other people who may be down, who may be struggling, to stop looking at the situation that they're in and give glory to God as well. It will lift them up as we're lifting up Christ and we're, we're, we're blessing the Lord as we go about, as we're going through that line at the grocery counter, as we're going through the bank and, and going throughout our day and we're just lifting up Christ, it lifts people up too. And it helps them to take their eyes off their problem and put their eyes on God. He says the humble shall hear of it and be glad. He says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me. What's he saying? He says, I'm going to do it. And now I'm encouraging you to do it as well. Oh, let us exalt his name together. You need to be around other people who desire to lift God up. You know, complaining begets complaining, doesn't it? Uh, a woman who a uh, wife who complains about her husband oftentimes will find people who complain about their husbands or, or as well. And if you hang around someone who complains about their husband, all of a sudden your husband doesn't look so good either. And maybe that causes you to complain. You know what? We need to be around people who can praise God. Why? Because it'll lift us up and it'll encourage us to praise him as well. He says, let us praise the name of the Lord together. Let's have his praise on our lips continually at all times, whether we feel like it or not, whether things are going great or they're not. We have so much to be thankful for. We shouldn't be known as a complaining bunch, a griping bunch, a fearful bunch. We should be known as people who love Jesus and give glory to him. Amen? Amen. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Amen? Amen. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you, and I love you as well. Make sure you get to church this weekend. We'll talk to you soon.